Howdy Tinker Nerds, welcome to a new type of video called Tinkernut Labs, where I show you how to create some cool stuff based on my latest Tinkernut video. This week's video was about ultrasound, so if you haven't seen it yet, you can click here to get up to speed. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to take one of these ultrasonic sensors and create an object detecting beeping device. In essence, it's going to be like a sonar device. You can find the project page for this video at the link below. All right, let's start tinkering. So what you're gonna need for this video is an ultrasonic sensor, an Arduino, a small buzzer, and then a breadboard and some various wires. All right, let's start by connecting the ultrasonic sensor to the Arduino. Now there's several different versions of ultrasonic sensors, but this one has a VCC pin, which is the power, a trig pin, an echo pin, and a ground pin. So using the breadboard, let's connect the VCC pin to the 5 volt port of the Arduino. Let's connect the ground to one of the ground ports, the trig to port 8, and echo to port 9. Simple enough so far. Alright, now we need to connect the buzzer to the Arduino. It just has two ports, power and ground. So connect one side to an Arduino ground port and connect the other end to port 10 on the Arduino. Okay, now let's plug the Arduino into computer and start writing some code. You want to start by defining the pins that everything is connected to. And we'll add one more for converting inches into milliseconds. Next, you want to declare all the variables that we'll use in the program and then start by writing a setup function that tells the role for each pin. Now let's make a function that maps the current distance sends out a sound wave and then captures the time it takes for sound, the sound wave to echo back. Then we can convert it to inches and then log another distance at the end of the function. Lastly, we can convert the distance back to milliseconds to store the max time variable. Okay, with that done, let's make a new function that checks our distance. Let's make a timekeeper variable and set it to 1, and then make a while loop that executes our distance mapper every 60 milliseconds and then delays by one millisecond, adds an iteration to the timekeeper, and then loops through again. Then once the timekeeper exceeds the max time variable, let's exit the while loop. Lastly, let's make a beeping function that starts the beeping sound, delays it for 90 milliseconds, checks the distance and adds a delay to the beep depending on the distance returned, and then stops the beep. Finally, let's loop through our necessary functions. Now check your code and see if it passes and upload it to your Arduino. You should start hearing a beeping noise, and then if you move an object in front of it, the beeping noise should start getting faster the closer the object gets. There you have it, a DIY sonar device. Again, you can find the project page for this video at the link below. And if you get any value out of this video and would like to give some value back, please consider donating bitcoins or consider donating to my Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash tinkernut. All right, that's it for this episode of Tinkernut Labs. For more, go to tinkernut.com, where technology and creativity collide.